Hello and welcome. In this demonstration video, I will be showing the Dell EMC Virtual Storage Integrator for the VMware vSphere client and how it can help administrators manage their PowerStore storage. For those not familiar with it, the VSI plugin works with multiple storage arrays in the Dell EMC family to allow vSphere administrators the ability to view, provision, monitor capacity, and manage data stores from within the vSphere web client. In this demo, I will show some of the features available to PowerStore administrators, such as the configuration items in the VSI dashboard, applying best practice settings to ESXi hosts, adding a new VVOL data store, a traditional VMFS6 data store, and lastly, I will show increasing the capacity of a data store. Now let's get to the demo. As you can see in our VMware vCenter instance, we have two host clusters in the data center configured with 10 virtual machines split between them. Cluster 1 has hosts backed by a PowerStore T model appliance, and Cluster 2 is backed by a PowerStore X model appliance. As you can see in Cluster 2, the virtual machines named with a PSTX prefix are the controller VMs for node A and node B of the appliance. So after an admin installs the VSI plugin, the first place they need to go to configure everything is the VSI dashboard. Once in the dashboard, a quick glance will show you it's divided into three sections, integration services, plugin setup, and power store capacity. When configuring the VSI plugin for the first time, an administrator will need to direct their attention to the plugin setup area to specify both the vCenter information and the storage systems information. For example, to add a PowerStore array, I click on the plus sign next to the storage systems. When the wizard opens, I can set the storage system type to PowerStore, specify the fully qualified domain name or an IP, enter the username and password, then with a few simple clicks, I can follow through with the rest of the wizard to complete the registration. However, since I already have two appliances registered, I'll just click Cancel. When you dive into the storage systems, you can see where I have previously added the array credentials for my two PowerStore appliances. PS6 is my PowerStore X model, and PS8 is my PowerStore T model. If I expand one of the appliances, I can view configuration information such as version, IP address, and overall capacity consumption. Finally, if I go back to the dashboard, the PowerStore capacity section near the bottom shows me a quick glance of the current used capacity for all my appliances. As you'll notice, since both arrays are brand new, hardly any of my total capacity is being used yet. Next, I want to examine a data store that I created previously. To do that, I click on Menu, then Storage, select my data store, select Configure, then under the Dell EMC VSI, I just click on Storage. From this screen, I can view general information about the data store and even change settings. For example, I can increase the capacity of the data store, change the performance policy, or even change the protection policy. Next, I'm going to show how the plugin can also assist administrators in configuring the recommended best practice settings. To do this, I click on Menu, then Hosts and Clusters. From here, I can right click on one of my hosts, highlight the Dell EMC VSI actions, then click on Apply Host Best Practices. The wizard then scans the host in order to detect which settings are set correctly, which are not, and allows me to pick and choose which settings to apply. For example, if I sort these, I can select the items with yellow exclamation points for settings that still need to be remediated. Now, if I were to select a setting that requires a host reboot, a message will bring that to my attention. In addition, I can hover over the yellow exclamation points, and that will show me the current value as compared to the best practice value. 
Moving along, let's create a new VVOL data store in my PowerStore X model appliance. To get the process started, I right click on my cluster 2. Once again, select the Dell EMC VSI actions, then click New Data Store. When the wizard opens, I first select the type of data store I want to create, then select Next. On the next screen, I specify the name I want for the data store, and then click Next. I then select the array, and click Next. For the storage settings screen, I can then set a capacity quota. So, for example, I can check the box and then specify a quota size. In this example, I will use four terabytes and click on next. On the final page of the wizard, I review everything and then I click finish. In a moment, the new VVOL data store will be available for use. As you can see, the Cluster 2 demo data store is now ready and available for use. To create a traditional VMFS 6 data store on my PowerStore T model appliance, I can use the same wizard. First, I need to return to the Hosts and Clusters view. Once again, I right click on the cluster, go to Dell EMC VSI Actions, then click New Data Store. When the wizard opens, VMFS version 6 is the default option. If I wanted to at this point, I could even check the box to create multiple data stores at once. However, in the interest of time, I will just click Next. For the name, I can then type in Cluster1DS2, then click Next. Select my array, then click Next. On this screen, I specify the capacity. In this case, I want it to be two terabytes. I select my performance policy and my protection policy, and then click Next. After I've reviewed all the settings, I click Finish. The final thing I'm going to demonstrate is increasing the size of a data store. To do this, let me first switch back over to the data stores view. If I right click on cluster 1 DS3, to add extra capacity, I just click on Dell EMC VSI Actions and increase data store capacity. To increase the size, I simply type in the desired size. So for example, if I want to increase this data store from 2 terabytes to 4 terabytes, I type in 4, select the drop down for terabytes, and click Save. In the background, the array is expanding the volume, and then the host will extend the data store to the new size. If you look at the data store summary, you can now see the new size. In conclusion, using the Dell EMC VSI plugin for VMware vSphere, along with PowerStore Storage, can help streamline common task administrators incur daily all while easily managing settings and tasks straight from the vSphere web client. For more information, please visit dell.com storage resources, as well as any provided links in the video description below.